I'm Dr. Sarah Key from Vision by Design Optometry. We are an optometry clinic located in West Edmonton. Uh, we provide routine eye care as well as vision therapy in Edmonton. Uh, today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about a condition called ocular motor dysfunction, uh, which is a condition that we often will treat with vision therapy here in Edmonton. Um, a lot of patients don't realize that one in four children actually have an undiagnosed vision problem and this can be something above and beyond requiring glasses. So there are important visual skills that you need beyond just having good 20-20 eyesight. So you have to be able to use your eyes together as a team, focus properly, process visual information, as well as uh, properly track objects. So when you have an issue with moving your eyes, this can often cause issues with reading. So this is something that we get asked a lot about from parents. So we're going to spend a little bit of time giving some more information here today. So Sarah, can you tell us what is ocular motor dysfunction? For sure. So ocular motor skills are basically the skills needed to move the eyes. So there's um, a couple of skills that we look for. Uh, one is called saccades or saccadic eye movements. So this is when we move our eyes from one target quickly to another target. Um, this is a skill that's used often when you're reading, when your eyes are moving from one word to the next to the next. Um, you can imagine that if you can't do this effectively, it would cause significant issues when you're reading. Um, another skill that we look for is called a pursuit eye movement. So this is when your eyes stay steady on a moving target. Um, this can also cause um, issues with reading and sports and coordination and stuff like that if you don't have a good ability to be able to properly follow a moving target. Um, another one we look for is just simple fixating of a target. So I mean, if you can't keep your eyes steady on a target, um, you can imagine that this is going to have a significant impact on the ability to um, understand visual information. And what are some of the symptoms of ocular motor dysfunction? Uh, patients will often have issues with reading, as I mentioned, so um, words will start to move on a page, they'll often skip lines, um, you may notice that they move their head, uh, they can have difficulty copying from the board, once they have to move their eyes from a target on a chalkboard down to their book, they can often lose their place. Um, children sometimes are uncoordinated with things like sports, they'll have difficulty with things like catching a ball, um, so it does cause a lot of significant symptoms for kids. How does ocular motor skills affect reading performance? Um, so as I mentioned before, um, CKs are a really important skill to be able to uh, actually read effectively. So when our eyes are scanning a page, you have to move effectively from one word to the next to the next. And then once you get to the end of the row, you have to jump your eyes quickly down to the next row. So if you're unable to do this accurately, I mean, this, this is an example of what, you're, what it would look like for a child who can't move their eyes effectively. So you can see when your eyes are moving all over the page like this, um, it's going to cause significant issues with reading. So children will often have a slow reading speed or have reduced attention or comprehension when they're reading just because they can't effectively gather the information. So what should I do if I suspect my child does have ocular motor dysfunction? Uh, so the best thing to do would just be book in a routine eye exam um, and just make sure that these ocular skills are tested for during the routine eye exam. Um, so this is something that we do look for whenever a child comes in. So it's a you know quick, quick and easy, simple test to be able to screen for an ocular motor dysfunction. Um, if we do detect issues with these skills during our routine eye exam, we typically will bring patients back to do a more comprehensive visual efficiency exam, um, where we actually do go through and measure um, other visual skills as well. So we'll measure the eye teaming ability, we'll measure the focusing ability, um, and we'll do a little bit more in-depth assessment of their ocular motor skills. Um, and then that typically gives us enough information where, where we can discuss treatment options with the parents. Great. And how is ocular motor dysfunction treated? Uh, so ideally we would do a vision therapy program for ocular motor dysfunction where we can teach a child or a patient how to actually use their eyes more efficiently um, and make them more aware of where their eyes are actually pointing in space. So typically for effective treatment, um, vision therapy is required. Um, it's not something that we can treat with something simple like glasses or contact lenses. Um, what kind of changes can I expect to see in my child after the completion of a vision therapy program 
um, with you. Yeah, the fun thing with doing vision therapy is you can often see really dramatic changes in, in a child. So of course, we always love to see increased reading speed and increased reading comprehension. Um, parents are often really impressed that their child who once really avoided near work and you know struggled to do homework and it was a constant fight, um, you know, now actually will love to read and you know really really enjoys doing things like that. Um, the children will also become much more confident. You know, they gain um, the ability to play sports and stuff like that, which you know really helps with the social aspect as well. So we can often see really significant changes in a child after they complete a vision therapy program. Nice. Yeah. And how do I go about booking an appointment if I'm interested in having my child assessed for ocular motor dysfunction? Um, we can, we do schedule our routine eye exams. You can either phone the office or schedule online. So we do have online appointments for the routine exams um, on our website at www.visionbydesignoptometry.com. Um, if you are quite concerned and you wanted to book the full visual efficiency evaluation, um, we do have to do that through our office uh, directly, so you would have to phone in and our office phone number is 780-444-6407 and that exam is required if somebody does want to pursue a vision therapy program in Edmonton. Great. Well, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us. I hope that gave a little bit more information on what we do for vision therapy. Um, if you would like, uh, feel free to subscribe to our page if you would like some more information and we hope to see you next time. Thanks.